everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome back to Magnificent Ships. In the previous episode, we had a load of fun exploring ships. Didn't realise the game was as long as it is. We ran out of time, but we're back to do it some more. So, without any more stalling, let's begin! Bring in the next next ship. And it is... Ba -ba -ba -ba, the Abquach. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I'm not really interested in this. It's an oil tanker, right? Yeah? It's a crude oil tanker. What's going on there? That's a funky anchor. It has a barrel thruster, everybody. Although it looks a little bit broken. Oh, there we go. It was just... It's a semi-transparent barrel thruster. Oh, wow, weird. So what's the, what's the special ability for... It has a horn! So I'm not sure how fun this would be to walk around. It is very much modern. It's just like an apartment block with cables. Uh, lifeboats. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to see here. Let's change ships! Place your bets. So oh, it is the USS Jimmy Carter. It's from 2004. It's a submarine! Boink. For the first time, it's appropriate to actually go underwater. Let's go to the other side. Boink. Okay, well, I don't suppose we can go inside this. So there's not going to be a whole lot to see, is there? So being a submariner, like, I would be terrified, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, being inside of the sub and going underwater, I would probably adapt to that pretty quickly. I, I live in a windowless box anyway. For those moments like this, where you come up to the surface, and they're like, Hey, privates, I need you to go up on deck and check that, um, the bit of paint is still there. The Geneva Convention requires it. And, like, you're out in an ocean like this, sort of wide and just open, and the water's sloshing up, and you're like, eh, eh. I don't want to die. It, it relates to kind of cruise ships. On a cruise ship, that's a big wave. The promenade deck's typically on deck seven and you feel safe because you're pretty tall and high away from the water. Oh, that's cold. Ooh. The ocean is a terrifying bitch. Being this close to it is too close. Yeah, if I was up in the air like this, I feel way safer. Makes no sense why I am just further away from it. Boink. I'm sure if you've been to sea, you understand what I mean. Oh, what's a special ability for this ship? I'm guessing nuclear missiles. It's gonna dive? Is it gonna dive? It's diving! That's awesome! Is it gonna stay down? Or is it breaching already? Okay, that's cool. Right, next ship. Oh, I get a glimpse of it in my periphery vision. Can you guess what it is? It's the Queen Mary! Wow, we're gonna have some fun looking around there. So what's her special ability? I'm guessing it's her horns. That's awesome. Okay, where to begin? She's a big ship, retired in California. And uh, in fact, she's been in the news uh, just this, this past couple of weeks at the time of recording this. It's been called into account how badly she's rusting and how interior supports are rusting and how part of it is even flooding. I think there's like a $100 million plan laid out to help rejuvenate her, to make her good again, because she's just falling apart. But sadly, even her interiors, you'd think with a ship like this, the whole point is to preserve the ship, because the ship is the attraction. But more and more of the interiors have been gutted mismanaged, replaced, or ripped out, or just repurposed. Her first class swimming pool is a fucking haunted house ghost experience. Maintenance areas and crew areas that have got like original fixtures all put up and they're not protected and they're getting smashed up and bashed into. It's just a crying shame of what they have. They don't know what they have. They claim that they do and they claim to love it, but if they did, they would be nurturing the shit out of it. Hell, as far as I'm aware, the bridge wings are even closed off now. There's a big petition here because they're not safe anymore. I seem to recall the ladder, the, the stairwell there, doesn't exist anymore. I think it rotted away. I don't know. I'm not an expert, so I'm going to stop assuming things because I'm going to be pissing off because there's many... Queen Mary has a fan base equally as large as that as the Titanic. Wow. It's so fucking cool! Ah, but wait, doesn't the Queen Mary in Long Beach... Well, isn't that bit fully connected of, like, you know, a proper walkway going straight across there now? I'm not sure. I think they might have modified it at some point in her life. Uh, upwards we go. Abushi uh, bushi. England! 
No more of this America bullshit. This is England. England. Yes, mate. Don't try and tell me VR is gimmicky bullshit because you cannot replicate what I'm seeing right now on a PC, just on a standard screen. I'm literally on the deck of the Queen Mary out in the middle of the North Atlantic. I'm going to assume it's the location. That's insanely beautiful. I'm getting so many feels for being at sea. Having been there myself, as I've mentioned numerous times in this video, I've even got my hands on the hand railing. I know what it feels like. And I'm punching stuff now. This just feels true. I mean, I'm sure there must be more deck benches than this. I'm sure there's loads of minor details missing. But it is still awesome. Ah, now from memory, isn't there like a, a sports deck? Oh look, I've got even a reflection. That's interesting. I seem to remember there was like a, a tennis court and stuff like that, wasn't there? No, nope, can't go in there. Jeez, look at the funnels! I mention this whenever I'm like, doing Titanic stuff, but when you play with Titanic games, there's always a moment where you see something from an angle you've never thought about looking at from before, and it just catches you off guard. Like, I never, I never saw that in my mind's eye, mind's eye before. That's intense. That's happening right now. Just looking up at those iconic funnels. Just wow. I've never been so excited for a Cunard line ship, although technically this is Cunard White Star. This was built after the merger, or well, a part of the merger, whatever. Point being, this was Cunard White Star. Scooch around onto this deck. Awesome. You know, let's just climb. Boop, 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 boop. Up, up. That's so cool. Ah! Wow. Let's go to the crow's nest. That is super cozy. And no elements, you got that, that little view there, but no elements are gonna get in there, apart from wind. Right, imagine if you were that you're some dickhead doing the I'm king of the world bullshit from Titanic and you're slipping, you fool. No! And he kind of bob up alongside the ship. Help! Oh, help me, somebody, please help me. Blah, blah, blah. Help me, I've fallen overboard. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I can't breathe. I need to see the ship just leaving you behind as you ride up and down on the waves. That's terrifying. And you're like, please, somebody spot me on deck. Because you've got like about 20 seconds. If nobody spots you to throw a life ring or to sound the alarm, then it could be ages before anyone knows you're missing. Oh, and th that, like that. Just like that. Oh, it's so weird. It's so scary. Come back. I don't want to die. Blah, 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 blah. And then you just give up on life and you drown. Blah, 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 blah. That's depressing. Eagle! That's so fun. That's awesome. I fucking love it. Right. Next ship. But I feel like this video is kind of way too long. So... We might speed this up, so what's the next ship going to be? Is there even a next ship? The mermaids, we've seen you before. Is that the end? That's the end, that's all the ships. Yeah, well done everybody, we've done, wow. That was the worst ship. Okay, this has been amazing. I went into it with very low expectations. I'm so surprised, I'm so blown away. I've been sat on this for ages. I wish I got into this sooner. Now this is just volume one. So what would you expect out of volume two? I'm gonna say Titanic for one. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, uh, the SS United States, the big U. That would be an important one to put in there. Um, Andrea Doria maybe? You know, some other just really famous and classic ocean liners. And definitely stay with the classics. Don't be giving me no crude oil modern ships. Don't give a damn about any of them. We want to see the classics and warships because they're just freaking interesting to look around. Now, did you enjoy this? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. If you want to see more of this, you know, maybe, I don't know what we could do different with this, but if there was like a specific thing we could do like with the Queen Mary model, like maybe we could do a comparison piece with period photographs, that could be fun. Anyway, just food for thought. If you liked it, let me know. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.